A big computer upgrade for the state schools will be coming online just in time for changes in the way we test kids here in Connecticut this spring. Yeah, there had been a big shortfall in the amount of money needed to make those computer and bandwidth upgrades, but the governor says that money has been found. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis here now with details. Mark? Hi, Darren and Sonia. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, this big announcement helps to bring Connecticut schools up to grade computer-wise. Everyone knows by now that computers are one of the most important learning tools for kids. And starting in the spring of next year, computers will also become the most important testing tool under Connecticut's statewide education reform, replacing the traditional paper and pencil administered CMT and CAP test assessments. We are adopting computerized adaptive tests called smarter balanced assessments as our end of year tests in grades three through eight and 11. And actually taking those tests will require the use of the computer. But 128 communities in the state were lacking enough computers and internet bandwidth to accommodate the testing. Applications for help from school systems earlier this year totaled $24 million. The state only had $10 million to distribute. Today, the governor told a statewide gathering of school superintendents and boards of ed that the extra $14 million had been found. We had 128 applications. We were only able to fund at that time 10 million. We're now increasing so that we can actually fund every request that was made at that time. Former Newtown School Superintendent Janet Robinson was named Superintendent of the Year today. She's now heading the schools in Stratford. We have been waiting anxiously to hear about this grant so that we can get um, our infrastructure in place and be able to test the number of children we need to test. It means that every school system scheduled to make the change to the new right, testing should be up and running in time for the new tests in the spring. This will allow us to add 30 computers at six of our elementary schools and it will also allow us to add 60 computers at our two middle schools. Obviously this will support the testing requirements but will be a great resource for our students every day. Now, when I asked Governor Malloy where this extra $14 million miraculously came from, he said it was found within the State Department of Education budget, allocated to something else, but that this was more important. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.